Hello everybody, so today I'll be sharing with you all my empties for December, so last month, and I have some hair care, some makeup, and some uh, skincare. So let's get right on to it. First, I have a shampoo. I don't have the conditioner, but I do have the shampoo. Um, the conditioner will be in this month's empties, January. So anyway, it is the L'Oreal Paris Ever, Ever Pure Sulfate Free Color Care System Frizz Defy Shampoo. This is pretty good. It does help with frizz, but it's not like, no, it's nothing special, but it does help with frizz and it smells really, really good. It has like a floral, I think, I think it's jasmine or magnolia it smells really good though but i probably wouldn't repurchase because it's nothing special but i'm happy that i tried it out next i have two dry shampoos first one is the living proof perfect hair day dry shampoo this i love it's probably top two favorite I think um maybe top three um I say top two favorite dry shampoos but yeah definitely your purchase um so yeah love it does great oil oil absorption does really good so yeah love it and then next dry shampoo I have is from Amika. This is my other top two one. Uh, it's the Perk Up Dry Shampoo. Um, really like this one. This is my second empty of it because I also got it in the um, Sephora birthday gift set last year, I believe. Yeah, last year. Um, but yeah, I totally repurchased this. Love it. So yeah. That's that for all. That's all the hair care. Next, uh, let's do makeup. Even though I normally save it for last. Um, but yeah, I finally finished an eye primer. Yay! It is like a trial or deluxe size though, but still. Um, but it's the Urban Decay Eye Shadow Primer Potion. Um, this was pretty good. Uh, it did, it did give pigment to the eyeshadow. Um, so, but I don't know. I would, I might repurchase. I don't know. It just depends on how I feel about the other, what I decide how, how, what I decide how I, or how I decide or what I feel about the other eyeshadow primers that I have. Sorry, it took forever to form the correct sentence. <laughs> um, but yeah, really glad I used this up. But I do have another size of this. So, but I'm, ex I'm happy that I have another size of it. Uh, back up. So that's, that was the one makeup item. And then skincare, I have a, quite a bit of skincare. Um, first we'll do a moisturizer. I have the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. I love this. It smells like roses. Some people say it's like too fragranced. I don't think it's too favorite fragranced. I mean, it does have the strong fragrance, but I like it. So, yeah. But the full size? This is like 70 bucks. I'm like, what? I'm not paying 70 bucks for a full size. I'd rather just get like a mini or something. This is the mini, I think. It's a half an ounce. So I'd rather just repurchase this size or than just getting a full size, even though I really do like this moisturizer. It's lightweight, but it's also, it is moisturizing enough and it's thick. I mean, it's not thick, thick, but it's thick. It's, re it's a decently thick, uh, water gel, but yeah, I really like it. 
I would possibly repurchase. But yeah. Next, I've got a um, mask or clearing treatment. It's from Glam Glow. It's their Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This, uh, I liked it. It, I feel like it helped with my acne to keep it at bay and like make it go away faster. Um, sorry, my light just died. Um, oh, never mind. There it goes. It just cut off. Um, but yeah. Um, and would possibly repurchase, but for now, I'm not going to. I don't know why it keeps on shutting off. Um, but yeah. Stop sh freaking shutting off, dude. Probably because it needs to be charged. I'm not gonna keep on Put it, turning it on. I don't, mm. Um, but next I have eye mask. Um, it's the Grace and Stella Hydrating and Soothing Eye Mask. Um, these were nice. They were very cooling. Um, hydrating. Um, uh, I probably wouldn't repurchase though. Um, but yeah, they were nice, but I, mm, I didn't like them enough to repurchase, but I'm glad I got to try them out. And then next, I got the Proactive Mark Correcting Pads. Here. There you go. These are very, very old. I don't, they probably don't even make these anymore. So if I were ever to come across these again, I would definitely purchase because they do work. It helps a lot because um, in the morning I'll do it like um, my skincare routine at night. And in the morning my um, pimples are like reduced quite a bit so um yeah I really like it really really like them next I've got a natural per se product it's the essential shock uh intense complex intensive anti-aging firming serum with this I didn't really notice a difference that much but um so for that reason i would not repurchase but and also it's expired really expired because it was made in 2016 so that's probably why i didn't see any results <laughs> but um yeah so i probably wouldn't repurchase just because natural per se is quite as quite expensive so yeah and then last product I have is a sample of the Dr. Bronner's 18 and 1 Hemp Peppermint Pure Castile Soap Sample. This I loved. It was really, really good. I used it to clean my brushes, my makeup brushes, and it did a great job. I would definitely purchase, maybe not on this scent. I'm planning on a per purchasing the citrus scent because that one smells like oranges I love oranges and so yeah I might get the roses rose one but I smelled that one and I wasn't too fond of it so I think I like the citrus scent the citrus scent the best so I will be purchasing the citrus scent but not the full size the like eight ounce I think it is the second um smallest size i think there's like eight ounce and then the 16 ounce i think i think um but yeah love this 
so that is everything that I used up last month in the month of December. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!